What is the Lewis structure of H and Interesting. So Lewis for H and O2. So typically for this, I usually like to put the, um, you know, the, I guess, lone one nitrogen in the middle. But let's see if it actually can fill out every requirement here, okay? So, let's see. Lewis for HNO2, right? We've covered this, but we're going to keep covering it again and again. Nitrogen, okay, has five valence electrons because it's 2s2, 2p3, okay? Hydrogen has 1s1, so it's one valence, and oxygen has, start with helium again, 2s2, 2p4, okay? So let's highlight that. And now we have what our electrons should be, and now we, let's do, um, let's just add it together. So we have one hydrogen, one nitrogen, which is five electrons, and we now have, have six times two, so that'll be 12, plus I guess another six, so we have 18 electrons in total we have to account for. So with that being said, okay, we have, I will still put the nitrogen in the middle to see how that works, and we fill out its shells, okay? So we have the oxygen bonded, the oxygen bonded, and the hydrogen, okay? And then, we try to fill out the uh, outer shells and see how that goes. Okay. And now, let's see actually if this is something that actually makes sense for HNO2. Okay. So let's actually draw, I mean, write out the electron number. So with that being said, okay, um, we have the, let's see here. We have, I'm trying to think, yes, nitrogen is five valence electrons minus, we have one lone pair, so that's two electrons, plus six in the bond divided by two, so two plus three, that's equal to zero, perfect. Oxygen, okay, six minus, it has six, oops, not six, yeah, two, four, six, um, and then plus um, two over two. So that'd be minus one each one. So in fact, this one doesn't even add up. So what we have to do first is like, let's check, okay? Um, the amount of electrons, it's supposed to be 18 and we have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. We have two more electrons than we're supposed to have, okay? So now I have to figure out a way to redraw this, okay? So because this, unfortunately, does not work for um, this one. Unfortunately, does not work for uh, nitrogen, right? So now, with that being said, um, uh, let me just check here. So we have to redraw this in a way that would work. Um, so let's move things around here. Let's see if the oxygen maybe. Actually, let's not put the oxygen in the middle yet. Is there any way we can move the bonds around? Um, unfortunately, it does not look like we can move the bonds around. So, with that being said, um, let's see here. Let's try putting the oxygen in the middle and see how we can work with that. So, we have oxygen attached with a nitrogen, attached with an oxygen, okay? Just start with that to see what we can do. So NO2 typically, okay, is gonna be like this. Um, let's see here. Um, NO2. Let's start here to make it a little bit easier. So be um, six times two. Okay, nitrogen dioxide. That's twelve oxygens plus five. So we want seventeen in total. Okay. So. Two, four. Well, actually, let's just start with this. So we have four right now, okay? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, uh, thirteen, fourteen, 
15, 16, 17. So, to move things around, the good news is that these two can move kind of in here to form a double bond. So now we have N double bonded with O, okay? And we still have this here, this here, and the oxygen, unfortunately, awkwardly with one right there, okay? So this right now, this oxygen is incomplete, okay? But this is the best I can think of right now. I kind of just took the hydrogen out because I guess it's the best way to conceptualize this. Um, and if we did the math real quick, we have nitrogen, it's still five minus, now there is um, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, so that's gonna be uh, four minus, whoops, it has two lone pairs, so it'll be two, okay, and then it has six in the bond, so six over two, so it's still gonna be equal to two plus three equals zero, so it still works out. The first oxygen, it has six minus, it's gonna be four minus, I mean four plus four over four, that's also equal to zero, good, and the second oxygen has six minus um, four, five, plus two over two. So this actually works out for now, but this oxygen itself is unstable. So that is actually where the, um, where the hydrogen comes in finally. So the hydrogen kind of swoops in, because remember it's one electron, so it goes in like that. And then now we have H, O, N. So for this one, we kind of really had to, um, I guess, work through into the different setups. And exactly, I think the way I solved this, the best way was to actually ignore the hydrogen for the meantime and just solve NO2 first. And then from there, I worked on actually um, solving um, where I was able to see where the hydrogen would fit into the rest of the equation. So this is actually what we would have for the Lewis for HNO2. And then we check the math again. So we know that the oxygen already, the first oxygen already had that. And actually now, the second oxygen has the same thing. Oops, no it doesn't. The second oxygen now has actually, it's still going to be 6 minus. But now, it has only, oh, that's why it looks the same. Sorry. So it would actually be the same, because I was missing the double bond here. So, actually, yes. It would actually be the same, because now, just like the other oxygen, it has two pairs, I mean two bonds, meaning that there's four bonds, so four over four, and two lone pairs, which is at four in front. So both of them are now at zero, and the hydrogen, this is the last check, would be zero plus two over two, exactly. So that one equals zero as well. So now the electron numbers all look nice, and this is what the um, element look like in the lowest dot diagram. To redraw this with bonds, it will be kind of like this, H, O, N, O, like that. That would be H, N, O, 2. So yeah. So they kind of just guess, because exactly, even for me, I have a hard time conceptually how you know how the bond would be like this. But exactly, I think the best way to solve this question would be to ignore the hydrogen at first and try to solve NO2. Because then you'll see there that nitrogen is still in the middle. But you wouldn't assume a triple bond like I did here. I mean, uh, three bonds in each corner like I did there. Because that would be like NH3, you know? So you kind of have an assumption of what it would look like. Which is important to try to um, redo it as if the hydrogen is not there. And exactly, you see? It has like that so they try to fill in the skeleton like they did and then they completed the octet and then they realized that oxygen want to share the bond here for it to um, have uh, everything have the perfect electron number that's supposed to have and yeah so this is H O N O so this is correct um, I do wish they kind of delved into more how you figure out if it's H-O-N-O, -O, 
but the point being is that they figured it out. I figured it out at least.